All right, so next up we have Illinois versus Moorhead State. First off, great name for the Illini's opponent this week. Illinois sitting at 26 and 8, second in the Big Ten, coming off a Big Ten championship. Uh, I had them in my preseason Final Four, so fair warning in advance. All right, before we start talking about this, let's see. Schedule wise, they have a win over Oakland. All right, Oakland is a tournament team. Single digit loss to Marquette. We know Marquette, two seed in the tournament. All right, you've got a win over FAU. There's another tournament win for you. All right, another single digit loss to another two seed, Tennessee. You got wins over Northwestern. Michigan State, both tournament teams, single-digit loss to Purdue. That's a one seed there. Uh, let's see, a loss to Northwestern and overtime. All right, loss to Maryland, a little questionable there. Uh, let's see, loss to Michigan State. Um, loss to Purdue again. All right, then ultimately in the tournament, end up beating Nebraska and Wisconsin and uh, Ohio State. So they have not beaten Purdue yet, but – Illinois, I think, is a very capable opponent for a lot of teams. Uh, in particular, you got Coleman Hawkins and Terrence Shannon, uh, which can really light up the scoreboard and beat you in a lot of different ways. They also got Dumask. Uh, he can shoot the ball as well. Let's look at Moorhead State, 26-8, and eight, first out of the Ohio Valley Conference. All right, they have a 30-point loss to Alabama, 30-point loss to Purdue, uh, which first off should kind of let you know what – to expect out of this game probably uh i think they'll play with illinois a little closer than those games but probably might be a little similar to that now the good news is even though they got killed in those games sometimes when playing opponents like that it at least gets you used to the speed the size the length they're going to see in the NCAA tournament like they will against illinois so i think that'll help them out here uh for sure but because that those aren't bad losses you know i mean even though they lost to them lost to penn state as well and indiana one point loss to indiana is not bad at all uh, and then obviously won their conference. Moorhead State, though, pretty good record, 26 and 8. But ultimately, though, I think they're running into the wrong team at the wrong time. Illinois is clicking on all cylinders. And I think they're going to be a little too much for Moorhead State. Give me Illinois by double digits here, uh, probably in a runaway game. I don't think it'll quite be a 30 point game like Alabama and Purdue, but it's probably going to be pretty close to that. Uh, I'd say probably 20 something. But who do you think? When's this game and why? Let me know down in the comment section. Can Moorhead State pull off the upset? What do you think? Also, if you see this little ticker right here, I am hosting my own bracket group on ESPN Tournament Challenge. Pretty simple, guys. To join it, go to the community tab on my channel. First post, click that link. That should take you right to the group. Join the group. First place winner gets a free AG t-shirt. Only thing is you got to be a subscriber to qualify. That's it. But let me know who wins this game and why down in the comment section. Like this video. Most importantly, subscribe. Thank you